<laughs> now, the longest continent-to-continent -continent yacht race called Cape to, you, Cape to Rio has yes. just begun. Now, seven of these scouts are representing South Africa in this year's edition. Okay. Now, um, they are going to be the youngest to ever, ever compete in this year, but also the youngest to ever compete in this race. Now, I was able to hook up with them before they set sailing. It was amazing, cool. the best experience. And this is what they got up to before the race. Teenagers are often associated more with risky behavior than responsibility. But for these South African sailors, they won't be letting their age slow them down as they prepare to take on the Southern Hemisphere's longest intercontinental transatlantic yacht race, the Cape to Rio race, as they prepare to set sail on the 4th of January 2020 and will be the youngest crew to ever participate in this race. Eight young scouts aged from 15 to 21 will crew the Scouts SA JML rotary yacht on its epic crossing. Hello, how's it? My name's Daniel. Okay. <laughs> the reason we shake with the left hand, it's a tradition, and one of the reasons is that it's because the left hand is closest to the heart. Oh, I like that. Okay, so there you go. Now, a lot of preparation that's going into the race. Are you happy with the team, and do you think that you're ready? Um, yeah, it's it's been a it's been a busy couple of months. Uh, we started with the idea of Cape Rio, I think it was in August. Yeah, around about then. Around, around about August, uh, Nick and I met up. Nick and I grew up together as scouts, the same scout group. Um, and we the, we had the idea of doing, doing Cape Rio. Uh, it sort of just popped into my head the one day, and we I met up with Nick one night. I uh, said, "Do you want to do this?" Uh, and he was like, let's go for it. Uh, so we drafted the proposal, uh, sent it through to the committee that manages the boat, um, and they gave us their full support. Uh, and from that moment, we sort of hit the ground running with preparation. And we, we're very happy with the crew that we have, we're very confident in their abilities. Um, all of them have been sailing since they started Scouts. Now, you're also the youngest team to ever compete in the race. How does it make you feel? It's a crazy feeling. We're going through so much preparation, getting everything together, making sure everything's fine, the boat's fine, this like going over all the things that could possibly be going wrong and making sure there's nowhere that can happen. It's just like we actually went through with the idea, the proposal. We're like, okay, we'll give it a shot, see what they say, I'll probably reject it. And it actually went through and like it was crazy, like we were like going insane, like this yeah. is happening. Along with the two captains are a crew of teens whose pride at being the youngest is supported by a confidence born of many years of experience between them. The way I started sailing is when I was about 11, I did it through school. I went to the Hout Bay um, Yacht Club and we sailed just small optimists there, had a bit of fun around the harbour. Then when I started Scouts, I went on the sailing course and then just from there I got hooked onto it. So how I think it's benefited me. Some practical skills I've learned is how to work on bigger boats. If something breaks, you learn how to fix it. Then like leadership, communication. So here, I'm a crew and I listen to the skipper. They're telling me what to do and through that I'm learning. So it also helped a lot with that leadership skills and with the communication. I started Scouts about four years ago. After that first weekend on the course, I just got it. I understood that I had a passion for sailing. And I don't know, from there on, I've just been on the water as much as I can. How it benefits me? I'd say the practical skills. So I've learned from the skippers and from the rest of the crew how to work the engines, how to work navigation, because yeah, that's what I've been learning recently. It's benefiting me a lot because I'm planning on doing this for a future career. Well, I'm looking really forward to it. Uh, I So I did Cape to St. Helena at the beginning of this year and I had an absolute jaw of a time. Um, yeah, it's I'm really, really, not that nervous, but there's a little bit of a an edge to it as you don't always know what's going to happen, what the wind's going to be like, if there's going to be a storm or if it's going to be smooth sailing. What are the ultimate aims of the Scout program? The ultimate aims of scouting worldwide is uh, there's three aims. The first one is to develop character, uh, the second one is to train the citizenship, and then our third aim is to develop the physical, intellectual and spiritual capacities of young people. And the way we achieve those aims is uh, we've, got a, we've got scouting methods, which includes learning by doing uh, an adventurous program and our uh, Scout Law and Promise, which is our value system. Uh, and sailing is really one of the tools that helps uh, those methods. It's, it's incredible the, the skills that teaches you practically and in terms of life skills. With 3,600 nautical miles of South Atlantic between their departure and Rio, they'll be tested in every way and our best wishes go with them.